Good morning, everyone. I'm Sean Rayhans. I'm the general manager here at the Iron Oaks community. And in lieu of my typical 8 a.m. Java with John session, once a week I'll be sending out a video keeping you informed of what's going on around our community. So welcome and thank you for giving me this opportunity just to say howdy. For those of you that haven't been to Job with John, I typically host it every Saturday morning at 8 o'clock right here in Stone and Barrel in the Alcove. Because of the coronavirus, we've postponed that. But during the Job with John, it's a great time for me to share with our members what's going on in the community and to get feedback from members as to what concerns or ideas they may have. And I really enjoyed that session. I hope the members do too, primarily because it's a small group, it's intimate, and we have a chance to talk and I get to meet some residents that perhaps I haven't met before. So I encourage you once we get through this coronavirus that you do join me in person right here in the alcove and I serve complimentary coffee and donuts as well. And it's just a really good time for us to connect. What's going on around our community? Well, the real question is what's going around the world? We know the word is coronavirus. It's dangerous. I just read this morning in the paper that in Arizona, we have already have had over 27 cases reported and 80 deaths. This is serious. I'll share this with you so as residents of our community that we follow the governor's orders, which really is stay home. We do hope that members get a chance to go out exercise in the community while keeping uh, their distance from one another, but getting some fresh air since the weather here is just beautiful. But we remind everybody, stay six feet away, wash your hands. If you're showing any symptoms from a high temperature to achiness, to a dry cough, um, anything of that nature that you're just not feeling well, please get in and see your physician and get tested had some closures around the community which I'd like to address. We've closed the pools, we've recently closed the tennis and pickleball. I get a lot of questions as to why we closed the pool. Actually according to the CDC it's not the pool water that would be contaminated or infected through the coronavirus, it's the outer areas of the grab bars where the virus could be on that stainless steel surface. It could be on a chase lounge chair or in other areas. So that's why we've decided to close our pools here. On the tennis and pickleball courts, we're taking the lead with the United States Tennis Association and Pickleball Association where they're simply saying, we're taking a pause, which is, which is a great idea simply because of the social distancing and the cross-contamination when using the pickleball or tennis ball. So we're following their lead on that. I also get a lot of questions about the golf course and if we're going to close. At this time, I don't think we are. I don't have that information, but according to Governor Ducey, golf courses are an essential piece and we're able to keep our golf course open which for the time being is terrific. But I do remind golfers, please, please keep your social distancing. We appreciate that. So what else is going around the community? Well, I do want to thank our uh, residents for patronizing our curbside drive through service. That's been fantastic. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for the incredibly generous gratuities that you have been giving. And I want you to know that the gratuities that you've been giving, even though you see salaried managers uh, delivering your food, all goes to our hourly coworkers to support them as well. But again, thanks so much for your support. It's been a great service and we've had a lot of fun doing it. And while I've got you here, let me tell you what's going on next week because we have some delicious specials. Monday's gonna be spaghetti and meatballs. Tuesday, of course, is Taco Tuesday. We started that this last Tuesday and it was fantastic. Those steak tacos are delicious. On Wednesday, we're doing buy one, get one free wine again, which was a huge success last night. Then we have our thankful Thursday, which includes $4 cocktails and our famous Reuben sandwich. Friday, is Bud Light on tap for $2 and also we'll have fried shrimp and coleslaw and Chef Jeff's famous clam chowder. 
And then on Saturdays, we'll do Sangria Saturday, which includes a beautiful, tasty red sangria, along with our spring blueberry salad. That should be delicious special. And lastly, my favorite and the funny one, Stretch Pants Sunday. That's where we can chow down having some comfort food with meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and gravy. My favorite. So I hope you join us then. And lastly, this is the holiday week. For those of you celebrating Passover, Good Friday, or Easter, we wish you the best during these religious holidays. And please stay safe, keep your distance. If there's any questions you have, you can always reach me here. Thanks so much.